So unfortunately, I know that you and I both see a lot of people with broken wrists. Unfortunately, I think a lot of it is when people fall. When they have a broken wrist, do they have to have surgery? Like, is that even an option? What do you, what do you see in the clinic? It really depends on the type of break and how bad actually the break is. There are some breaks that really haven't changed as far as the alignment goes, where many times you can treat without surgery, where most of these breaks will heal in six weeks. Uh, other breaks, it, you know, the, the, the displacement, the type of break it is, and how it winds up on x-ray is, isn't ideal. Depending on the patient's age and what they do, most, a lot of these patients end up having staff surgery. And the type of surgery depends again on the type of patient and age and, and what they do, but many times when we fix these breaks, we get the patients moving fairly soon afterwards. That's and good to know. Because I feel like a lot of people are so afraid to move a fracture, and understandably so. But I think one big thing that you and I have talked about is if the fracture is, you know, depending on what you see, how stable it is and how little it has or has not moved, it actually can be somewhat safe to do under your supervision. Is that right? Right, and so one of the main goals of surgery is to stabilize the fracture. And once I operate and able to stabilize the break, that's usually when I get the patient in the CU as a hand therapist. So as a hand therapist, when you see patients back after surgery, how quickly you get them moving and how do you do it? I really emphasize the old phrase that motion is lotion. Like your joints want to move, your body wants to move, Let's let it move. Even if your wrist can't do everything, your fingers can, your elbow can, we can move something sometime. Now for the wrist fracture, I really emphasize if it's surgically fixated, that we get it moving ASAP. Because if it's fixed, let's move it. We don't need to be going doing crazy stuff, but we can move. So we start with a really controlled pain-free motion and then progress from there. Now, for some people who are like rock climbing or boxing or doing crazy stuff, I say about three months or so. But if you're more into like typing or knitting or like slower stuff, six to eight weeks. Now, for my pickleball folks out there, I know there are a ton of them. And for some reason, I see a lot of wrist fractures with pickleball right now. I normally think that it's somewhere between like the eight to 12 week mark, depending, like you said, on the fracture, on the circumstances, and what, however the body and the person are healing, really. Is that what you kind of recommend too? Absolutely, yeah, as long as the surgery, the, the fracture is fixed well, um, I like to get the patients back moving as soon as they can, and hopefully return to their activities and sports, you know, when everything is healed. I think that's the best thing, is when people have something they're wanting to go back to, they are like ready to go, which right. helps me and you out tremendously.